this edition of AV to Z. I'm Sean Cottenham, along with Tom O'Hara, and here's what's happening this week. On Tuesday, January 14th, there was a special guest here at, for the afternoon at AB. And this guest was not a person, it was a trophy. In fact, it was the World Series trophy. That's right. The official trophy awarded to the Red Sox after winning the World Series last October is traveling around to various communities for diehard fans to see it and take pictures with it. We spoke to one such fan on what it meant to see the trophy. What was your reaction to the Red Sox trophy being there? I was shocked and excited to take a picture with it. I used to be a much bigger fan than I am now, but I'm still a pretty big fan. As many of you likely know, Acton Boxborough Superintendent Dr. Mills announced his retirement last fall. Since then, a committee was formed to find a new superintendent. And for this week, the three finalists for the position were announced. One finalist is Mr. Glenn Brand. He is currently the assistant superintendent in Sharon, Massachusetts. The second finalist is Dr. Brett Castigian. He is currently the superintendent for Quaybog School District, the Quaybog School District. And the third finalist is Miss Mrs. Marie Altieri. She is currently the Director of Personal and, and Administrative Services right here at AB. All three finalists will be visiting the schools over the next two weeks to meet the students and staffs. Then only Saturday, January 25th, they will be interviewed in a public setting by the school committee who will then make their selection. Be sure to tune in to the next edition of AB to Z for the announcement of our next school superintendent. Recently it was announced that Good Sports Incorporated has put together an event for rival high school teams to play at the TD Garden, while raising money to provide sporting equipment for needy children throughout the United States. And AB's own varsity basketball team was fortunate enough to be asked to participate. It is an all-day tournament on Saturday, Saturday, January 25th. There will be seven high school games played. AB plays at 2.30 against Lexington High School. This will be a fun family event to see some great high school basketball on the famous parquet floor of TD Garden while showing support for your home team. Tickets may be purchased in advance by contacting a member of the team or the high school athletic department. It's just two weeks until the beginning of this year's school musical, Footloose, and thus, not too far. Tickets are flying out the door. The cast sold over 1,200 tickets during their pre-sale, a new PC record. With only three weeks to go, it may sell out before the curtains go up on January 31st. Evening shows for this much-anticipated event are January 31st, February 1st, 7th and 8th at 7.30 p.m. Matinees take place on Sunday, February 2nd and Saturday, February 8th at 3 o'clock. Tickets are available for purchase at Roach Brothers or by logging on to abdrama.org. This week marks the end of the second grading quarter and in some cases semester courses. Next week will be midterm exams in both science and math. Good luck to all students. In sports, the boys' hockey team continues its remarkable turnaround season after last year's disappointing results. Thus far, the team is unbeaten with a record of four wins and zero losses and three ties. The girls' hockey team is also continuing its traditional strong play. They recently reeled off four straight wins by outscoring their opponents 23-4. to The girls' basketball team is also having a strong season. After last year's rebuilding year, thus far they are 7-2 and two on the season and recently beat DCL rival Lincoln Sudbury. We wish the best of luck to all winter teams as they begin to wrap up their seasons in the coming weeks and hopefully qualify for state tournament play. And that does it for today's show. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Tom O'Hara. Thanks everyone for watching. That's good. <laughs> One finalist is Mr. Glenn Brand. He is currently the assistant, principal, assistant superintendent in Sharon, Massachusetts. The second finalist is Dr. Brett Kustigen. He is currently the superintendent for the Kuwaitbog <laughs> School District. And the third finalist is Mrs. Marie Altier. She is the second finalist is Dr. Brett Kustigen. He is currently the superintendent for the Kuwaitbog <laughs> School District. And the third finalist is Mrs. Marie Altier. She is the current. <laughs> is it right? The second finalist is Dr. <laughs> Dr. Brett Kostigian. He is currently the superintendent of the Koi School District. And the third finalist. <laughs>